Day two, we got an idea what we're gonna do. It's cold as all can be here. I don't know what's going on with these, uh, kicking off these tournaments. I don't know why. But can't we just have like normal warm weather? <laughs> Look at that. But it looks like they finally got their stage all in place. I'm kind of, uh, hopefully, here in a couple days, I get to weigh in some decent fish right in front of there. It's a drive up one. You just drive your boat up next to it and you pull them out and do your thing. I can physically see the heat coming off the water this morning. Like, legitimately, there's fog just rolling. That is the wrong side of the road. We do not want to go down that road. Well, there shouldn't be as many boats on the water today. Yesterday it was uh, Sunday and there was a another tournament trail deal here. There was I think it was like a big bass deal. It's 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 one of the cheaper tournaments to enter, so it's like a million people come. They have them all throughout Texas. I think they're like 150 bucks a day or something like that. But no, it's like 150 bucks a day, and it's a uh, there was in Texas there'll be like a thousand to two thousand people join, like literally boats. And then here I think they only had 500, which is kind of a lot. There shouldn't be as many boats. I bet you there's probably 150 boats on the water today, which which will be kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Also, probably need the temps to come up just a tad. It's currently 32 degrees out in Alabama. I'm sure those fish are super jacked to be just munching. I am going to throw a clickbait today. Threw, I threw a bladed jig yesterday. Got to thinking, well, the water's a little stained, a little cold. What if I threw a clickbait? Because a clickbait will run shallower than, than a bladed jig for sure. And you can actually adjust it to run deeper or shallower. I'm going to throw it around for a little bit today. I don't expect the bite to really get too hot until, we'll say, 10, 11, like just because the weather's so bad. We're gonna be losing out of it, I think maybe in an entire day of practice. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to run it. My engine's ticking pretty loud. And I just yesterday was ticking pretty loud. And I brought it in when I came off when I came back and started idling near the ramp. And now I just put it in just, just to check. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's maybe it was just kind of something random. Now now it's like running really rough. Could be something small though, like maybe like a pump. Maybe, I don't, really don't know, I honestly have no idea. I tried to look it up and I can't really find anything about it. But I'm losing out of an entire day of practice is what it seems like. It's not a good start. The Mercury truck won't be here till tomorrow. You follow marine and power equipment? Oh, I was just seeing if the all service department was open right now. I'm fishing this MPFL and my engine is ticking pretty loud and I don't want to run it. I will run it by right now, thank you so much. I really need to, to look at truck too. Thank okay. you, thank you so much. He's there. Okay. All right. Bye bye. I love this. The Mercury, by far, 100% the best engine I've ever put on the water. Uh, that's why I don't, I don't think it's the engine. It's got to be something that's like a pump or something. Something. I mean, I've been running it pretty hard. Think about it. Last Florida. I mean, I've been running this thing full blown, full out. Stuff breaks when you go full blown. So, on a good note, do you follow Marine, the guy that's uh, kind of taking over the. So Mercury has a truck coming. It's gonna be here tomorrow. It's not a it's not a truck, but uh, the trailer. They they travel to all these events, and there's a trailer there, and they they have like a mechanic or two on duty, and they just a lot of the times it's something so stupid. When I was in Florida, uh, my engine was running. When I left Toho, my engine was running like I think I could only do 59 in my boat. That was it, maxed out. That was it. Well, it wasn't it wasn't the engine's fault. It was more or less my throttle wasn't adjusted correctly. I was only getting 75 or 76 percent max throttle, but also had like the intake for your water intake on the bottom of the engine completely had crud shoved in there from. I mean, when you go in Florida, you don't know if you guys know this, but you get in like six inches of water at a time and you just suck all that up into the engine. But hopefully, when we get here, this dude's like, nah, this is easy, quick Even fix. I'd be like, awesome. I will say this though. If you guys have like, if you guys are new to boats, I've ran Evinrude, which they're not in, they're not a company anymore. Yamaha, Mercury, 
Hondas are not really, not saying they're bad, but you don't really see a lot of them probably for a reason. I saw a Suzuki the other day. That was kind of strange. Um, 100% hands down though, that Mercury is probably, it gets the boat up the fastest. If I had to choose an engine that the roll ride or die with for the rest of my life, it'd probably be a Mercury. All right, what do you think? We were to guess. Is it gonna be a quick fix? Not a quick fix? Engine. Quick fix. So, unfortunately, uh, the only there's this mechanic, uh, really nice guy. You follow marine and power equipment, really nice guy. He uh, said it's the first uh, new, because this is a Mercury, this is a V8. He goes, he walks out, he goes, oh man, it's a V8. <laughs> he goes, oh, I haven't worked on those yet. He said, you're the first guy to bring one in. I was thinking to myself, well, son of a gun. Good, thank God. Uh, and then I called the other place and they're booked out for two days. But Mercury has a thing here, so I'm trying to get my, what we used to call manager Matt, but there's another Matt who's pretty much now became manager Matt V2. I uh, told him, please call Mercury. I don't want to run the engine if it's something small. Like, you know what I mean? You take a small problem that could be very fixable and then really catastrophically jack up the engine, like seize the head or what, you know what I mean? I don't want to, I'm just going to let it be. Uh, hopefully we can ride with Keith today. I'm trying to get Keith to answer his phone. I did call the Brad, the guy that owns MPFL and ask if that's, it's in the rules. So I can, I can do that. All I really care about doing is fishing new water, seeing water clarity. Cause in my eyes, these fish are gonna be moving up by, cause you guys gotta think about it. This is a three day tournament, no matter what. Like there's no cutoff. There's 120 of us. You fish for three days, no matter what. So day two, day one and day two, it could be like a good offshore bite, but day three, they could be completely moved up and you hammer down. I like this. I like this style of event pretty good. I mean, I'm focusing on a very specific shallow grass pattern. And I just want to see water clarity. Keith might not be even up moving knowing Keith. Yeah, you're being honest with you. I called him an hour ago. He was still sleeping. Hey. Hey, where can I meet you, buddy? I don't know. I'm still at the house. Okay. Well, I, I got to I asked Brad if I can roll with you today because I don't have a boat. Oh, okay. Your boat's down? Yeah, it's down. I don't want to take a small problem and make it, you know what I mean? Make it into a really big issue. Right, right. So they're going to get it worked on? Yeah. So I, don't, I, don't, I may not have a boat for today or tomorrow, but Mercury is for sure going to be here Wednesday to work on it. I'm trying to get him in today. Oh wow! So, but okay. can, can yeah, you? I'm going. To, I'm going to the Georgetown uh, boat ramp. Okay, I'll just meet you over there. I'll just throw some. I mean, we know what we're doing, so I mean. All right, buddy. I'll see you here in a little bit. Okay. okay see ya. Yeah. Bye. Well, at least we get to go fish with Keith. I told you guys we see Keith a whole bunch this year. That's why you need money bags in your life right there. That's oh, good, feels good. We did dump the boat off here. I got a handful of rods. I mean, I'm still gonna be able to effectively do something with myself today. To be honest with you, now we're just gonna go have a fun day of fishing with a buddy. Yeah, like I messed up, but you can see right here, John Cox. <laughs> right, no, I could. It would probably take you like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, gonna catch for the day. Yeah. You gotta be in a better mood there. Dude, gonna... I'm glad the motor started. As it, was there was there a, a way you were thinking the motor wouldn't start? Well, when me and uh, Nick and I when we put in, the thing was like, <laughs> and then it went. <laughs> Dude, they come and sounds. We only got a half a tank of gas, and this thing only holds like 12 gallons. Oh, cool. Red is the color of Rob's choice today. And by the end of the day, we'll tell you if he still likes it or not. That wouldn't be a bad idea. There's a guide there that does that. Oh, okay. he doesn't even need a electronics, he just runs them. Go down south of the bridge. Okay. Ride through Calicky a little bit. But we're, uh, let me look at it. We've eliminated just about. I feel like a mile worth of stuff at least. Already. Yeah. I don't even know what time of the day it is. 10 16. 10 16. We're good. This this should start biting now. I mean it's not not 20 degrees anymore. You're right. We should something should happen here. It's right there. Oh it's already 61. It's already came up 20 degrees. No, it's oh. came up 30 degrees, hasn't it? Yeah. 30 degrees today yeah. already. I'm about to take my pants off and party. Oh nice and thick. 
don't know why I keep putting this thing down. Oh! God! Got one. Good deal. Really, right when you asked, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was on a little black and blue rattling chunk. He hit it on the second the second lift up too. Hmm. First bite of the day. It was a good one. Well, we found out what was wrong with my boat. I think the lower unit's trashed. Actually, I, I know it is. That's what the guy told me. Dump it off on Wednesday. On our off day, and the guy at 8 a.m., the guy will fix it. So, his Mercury, like I said, they're bringing the trailer here. It'd be fun. I'm not gonna be within the moral. We gotta. I'm gonna use my boat, even though the engine is is jacked. Uh, I need a new lower unit. I'm just gonna put in at multiple different ramps and just. Shh. I think, and the thing is, like moving on. I think throughout the week, I think this is this can't get any worse. It, we it can't get worse. I've got to go take photos. Oh yeah. I have to take photos today. Yeah. Oh, what is going on everybody? It is the final day of this practice here for the MPFL. We found some stuff later on in the day, uh, yesterday. I cannot use my boat still. I'm gonna dump it off tomorrow to have the lower unit hopefully replaced. I didn't hit anything, nothing like that as you guys you know if you guys are still following along or still watching this crusty video. Uh, so the, the guy that owns MPFL, he's gonna allow me to use his boat because I mean yesterday I went out with Keith, but it's not really, I wanna try something different today. Keith is gonna be going down south. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, You'll still see my breath. We have a day off tomorrow. So basically we have three days of practice and a day off. I think by Friday, Saturday time frame, there's a, probably a pretty good chance that there's gonna be a little bit of spawning action going on. So Keith's been trying to find some cleaner water. That's what we did for a while yesterday. We didn't really fish very much. I feel like fishing is more or less, if you fish and you don't catch them during right now, you're pretty much just gonna get discouraged. I don't really know exactly why I just unplugged this. I'm not taking my boat, but, but yeah, I think I think it's a big thing. You're gonna get discouraged and then you don't really wanna fish that area. So that's kind of why, I mean, it's, the sun is up. We're in, it's also kind of strange. So right now we're, this tournament's based off central time. I think it's central. Wh whatever the time frame is, we're, it's an hour behind Eastern. I don't think that's central. Anyway, what a time is that? It is central. But if you go like just that way, like a mile, it turns into Eastern time. So the sun is like, I think the sun's more Eastern type deal where it's at five in the morning, it's up already really high. I need to get some rods. I've got ice on my boat. My least favorite thing in history is to fish with ice on the boat. Well, we are in a, another boat currently this morning. We're actually, like I said, in the owner of NPFL, we're in Brad's boat. He let me use it. It is also a Phoenix with a Mercury. So it's pretty much the same and has garments. So look at me, it's pretty much the same setup. Looks a little different than mine. He's got a bunch of stuff on the inside. So when you guys ask questions about which boat I am in and why there's decals and stuff, that is exactly why. Hopefully mine gets fixed tomorrow. If not, I think I'm gonna be the guy with a trolling motor during the tournament, just winging it. 
but if that I mean doesn't really matter other than that we're going to uh wow this thing's pretty nice i'm gonna go run some areas that i think that uh the fish will be coming to in a couple days and then we'll kind of go from that i'm going to be moving three or four separate times today don't know might be doing a little bit of cranking on some some rock some old rock but i want to really touch on that area that we went back into yesterday and started catching them so on a good note the boat should run just about the same as mine since it's literally the exact i think it's the exact same boat i don't know if it's a 921 or not but There's a fish. There's one. Let go, let go, let go. There we go. There we go. Literally, we just got bit within 10 minutes of being here. I know I haven't really said much to you guys. I kind of like just stood up and they're actually pumping water behind me. I went over there and it's like three degrees cooler. And I'm like, ah, I don't know if this is the ticket. And I came over here and it's now 55 and a half. I'm trying to find, I did see another one bowl over there when I swam it through and then I just got dunked right there. The reason why, I mean, this is my final day of practice. This water is a little muddy and there's no one back here. But I'm throwing a bladed jig and I got a little tubular thing hooked on the hook so I don't hook them. Out there is that. Through there was like three boats. Okay. And then I'll, I'll be heading south as well after. I'm going to go do a couple more spots and I'm going to load up and go back south. Oh, that's a bite. Fish on. He's got his mouth right now. He's not letting go. There's a boat literally pulling him behind me. Look at it, swim away with it. Let go, let go. He's still got it in his mouth. I can see him. Oh, shoot, he's hooked, isn't he? He's hooked. Oh, it's a mudfish. Lucky me. Oh. Oh. Again, I mean, I was hoping this yesterday. I just started punching this here recently. Uh, this is a this is a rattle and chunk. This is black and blue. I like it because I can put it on a three aught flipping hook, and it fits perfectly. Like when I mean perfectly, it fits. You won't get any short strikes. Look at this. It's just right in the back, just like that. Didn't even want to catch that fish. There, it's a little shallow. No. didn't pan out so we've had uh we've had two bites so far bass bites i'm pretty positive and then we had that one snake head it is now i don't even know what time it is what time is it 10 or just about 10 o'clock this reminds me of texas like quite a bit i, I kind of like this so. Didn't work. Try to let it work. Let's take a look at his eye though. Oh yeah, look at the eyes. You cannot tell me that this fish is not wanting to spawn. Those are red. Okay. There wasn't, there's another guy back in here. I know that he had to have gotten bit because he just left that area and drove even farther back in there. And the water temps from yesterday, I kind of came back in here, it was 58 and it's now 60. Point nine. Tomorrow we have a day off. It's gonna be warmer. This this is this is when I don't. I don't. What do I do? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't really. Uh, I don't really know. Don't really know exactly. 
don't have like a serious game plan. I'm, I'm pretty positive I'm not the only one. I think these fish are going to be moved up by the time we get here. I did find one area that a lot of people know where there's beds at. I mean, when I was just in there for 10 minutes, there was five boats that came through. So there's, I'm going to say at least 50 boats are going to know of that one area that's got a bunch of beds. Somebody's going to get really lucky and go in there and those fish are going to, those females are moved up, they're going to be locked on and they're going to catch some giants. Third and final day, not a practice. Actually, we had three days of practice. You know, we didn't really have three days of practice. We more or less had, I'm gonna go with, I had a solid day and a half. I'm gonna say a day and a half. I know I was out on somebody else's boat yesterday, but the trolling motor died at around noon. And I, I, I really do believe a big thing is gonna be bed fishing. My favorite kind of fishing. By day two, I'm gonna have to wing it. Look at a map and be like, I think they're gonna be bedding in here. Cause you need a trolling motor for like, I usually put it on a hundred and literally just go and just, bit, mark, you can mark bedding areas. You'll see like beds and the fish always come back in those areas. And I didn't even really get to do that yesterday. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna wing it. I mean, it's nice, it's warm. I know I got a hoodie on, I'm just kind of a pansy. What do you think the temp is, Nick? Mm, it's 63, 65. That's a bit high. Think so? 55, yeah, that's 56. That's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit on the higher side. I'm gonna say low 50s. It's 51. Whoa. So. I guess I'm used to our igloo cabin. <laughs> but it was only 48 last night. The night before it was uh, 36. The night before that was 32. The night before that was 29. So we got a fantastic <clears throat> warming trend. By Saturday, it'll be on, on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> You think he's gonna say you need a lower unit? That guy needed a lower unit. Did he, did he have one on standby? Yeah, he just fixed it real quick. No, 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 no. New lower unit. That was nice. How's that make you feel? Now we're gonna pick up some rods, go eat breakfast, and go drive around in circles. See, look at that. Reason number 1014 why you need a mercury in your life. They just covered that, no questions asked. I mean, I didn't hit a tree stump or hit anything like that. It just. A lot of torque in those engines, sometimes things go wrong. They literally just slapped a new lower, on, lower unit on, took them 20 minutes, then cost me a dime. He even changed out some bushings that were jacked up. Thank you, Mercury, for sending a truck down here with a trailer. I mean, if they didn't do that, I'd be literally trolling motor buoy tomorrow. In the rules, I, it states that you have to launch from that, that boat ramp, and all the area out front is all off limits. So I would have pretty much been screwed if Mercury didn't send a truck down. They didn't just fix my stuff. There was a handful of boats there, and they slapped a new Laurent unit on for another guy. No question asked. All right, all right. Hey, you know what's really good, guys? I know. It's been super, super, super kind of a random ending here. We've gone to a meeting. Tournament starts tomorrow. I'm boat 45. I've got a camera guy on my boat, so it'll be live streamed. I don't really know what I'm doing. I had about effectively probably a day-ish, day and a half-ish of actual practice on a lake that I've never been. So I'm super jacked. Hope you guys are ready. Hopefully the, the tournament video is coming up. We got three days. Three days. We need a limit every single day. This is the goal. I do love you guys. Go and roll that sweet succulent mother truck and I'm out, yo. I'm out, yo.